Excellencies, dear Dr. Sultan Raimzoda, dear Dr. Enko Wink, uh, dear governors and members of the, water, the World Water Council. On behalf of the World Water Council and on my own behalf, I'm sorry not to be personally in Dushanbe as I initially intended to. But I am pleased and honored of your invitation to deliver this short video message to the participant of the second international high level conference on the international decade for action water for sustainable development. First of all, let me congratulate the government of Tajikistan and the Kingdom of Netherlands for their continuous commitments in favor of global water action and for the high quality of the Dushanbe water process, as well as the accuracy and inclusiveness of the preparation process. Many of our valuable members have worked passionately to contribute to the preparatory workshops and the final declaration. The World Water Council has a multi-stakeholders platform and with some 400 members from 70 countries is continuously willing to contribute to make water a global political priority at all levels and promote concrete initiatives. Water is politics, ladies and gentlemen. We insist that we need to accelerate our joint efforts to achieve our common goals. The UN 2023 Water Conference should provide impetus as well as institutional and financial support for countries, cities, and rural areas. They have to face the enormous challenges caused by population growth, pollution, and mismanagement emphasized by climate evolution. Our main common objective is to achieve water security everywhere and for all. We all know that water security is a daily imperative, a constant reality, a need for all. I have read with great attention the zero draft of the final declaration, and I am proud that the recommendations are not only targeted by to reaching SDG 6, but enlarges the approach on how to enable this achievement through quality governance, education, science, knowledge, and innovation. The World Water Council and myself have been advocating for a long time in favor of the Five Fingers Alliance. Water, energy, food health, and education are the five basic needs of mankind, and they cannot be separated like the five fingers of a hand. They form the Five Fingers Alliance concept. And nature is the palm of this hand. What is the practical significance of such an alliance? In practice, it invites us to build development policies that take these five aspects into account without leaving one or more of them by the wayside. For example, what would be the point of building a school in a shanty town if pupils and teachers do not have enough to eat, wash, or care for themselves? And if there is no electricity, similarly, how could an hospital be built in a remote rural area of Africa or Asia without access to proper water, sanitation, and electricity? Water for food is also going to be one of the greatest questions of this century. As we can see, each of the five fundamental rights commands the others and vice versa. In order to organize equitable access to water on a global scale, specialists in the five fundamental rights will have to work together. As the World Water Council does, and how you intend to do it today in this conference. For this new approach, you deserve our sincere congratulations. Please, please bring it into the UN conference on the midterm comprehensive review of the implementation of the objectives of the water decade in New York in 2023. 
Thank you.